Guys, I'm uh, I'm actually crying, <laughs> and I just uh, I wanted to come on here to hopefully I don't know inspire, or shed some light, or or get get thoughts. You ever feel like it's just it's almost hopeless or useless to do what you're doing? Um. I'm 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 talking with a friend of mine that runs a literacy center, Ola, in Nigeria, and he's talking about how he's having a God. I feel like a little little punk. <laughs> he's he's talking about how uh, difficult it is right now with the teen boys that he's helping, and they're they're uh, running with older guys that are already doing really bad stuff. And then right before I started speaking with Ola, I was writing my, my brother who's in prison and I just sent him some money and, and we were talking about life and how things turned out for all of us. And I'm, and I'm wondering like, you know, is there, is there hope like I do what I do because I try to provide hope for kids that are in the hood, kids that are in gangs or, or, or going to be in gangs. And, and I go, man, you know, what, what <laughs> is there hope? You know, is that's, I guess that's my, you know, and of course, okay, I'm, I'm the, the anomaly, but how do you, how do you get through to people that are working with the kids to do a better or a different job? Or how do you get through to the youth to let them know nobody's, nobody's going to come save you. Like you, it's, it's going to suck and it's hard, but. Like life, life should be more than just growing up in the hood, staying in the hood, doing stuff that, uh, that doesn't truly bring you joy and happiness. I, I had a long conversation with someone yesterday that that's very involved with youth in the States and in, in a very high level. And, and we philosophized and talked for a while and, Sometimes I just feel hopeless. Tell me what you think.